it is February 14th, 2022. I'm making this video here in the morning just because. playing in the background is an original song by me. Um, it is called Running Theory Part 2. It's on SoundCloud right now. Follow It's Luna. That's It's L-U-N-A. One word. Um, just for background music. So, I'm going to make this video probably as long as the song. It's about a six minute song. So when the song is over, then I'll just make a second video if I haven't covered everything I felt needs to be covered in this first video. So that being said, I'm gonna just jump right into it. Okay, it is Valentine's Day. Let me just note that it is my personal Valentine's Day in six years where I have been single and it is the greatest feeling. I'm gonna buy myself some flowers later, get myself some chocolate, maybe go out to dinner. I was thinking right last year, but you know, I ain't got money like that. So I might just, you know, get some Popeyes or something. I don't know. It is the day after the Super Bowl 56, I believe. So I'm making this video just for reference. And again, if I don't cover everything in these few minutes, then I'll just make a part two however many parts that are necessary. Um, there are a lot of people that are um, I totally just pulled out into traffic like I'm not even paying attention. And hopefully I don't get into a car accident. I thought it was another turning lane, but apparently I was already in the turning lane, so. <laughs> there are a lot of people who saw the halftime performance specifically last night, and they were convinced that there were no satanic um, symbolism, which leads me to believe that many people need this video, even as a testimony, or just another person who they don't know, telling them that you have been bamboozled, there has and always will be satanic symbolism within these satanic rituals that take place specifically during the Super Bowl. As a, I don't like this term, but I'm just saying it just because it's popular and familiar in society, a conspiracy theorist like myself, we don't take days off, okay? There are no days that we take off digging for these conspiracies, or the truth is really what it is, truth seekers is what I like to be coined as. In the future, I'd like people to look at this and be like, yo, this person was seeking the truth. I may not be right. I'm not claiming to be right. I'm claiming to be skeptical of what is being told to me that is right. That's, that's all I'm doing. If, if there's anyone with more information, I would love to discuss it. Please inbox me, comment, subscribe, DM me. You can find me on Instagram. My handle is purist.adventure. That's P-U-R-I-S-T dot adventure. Please. But in the meantime, I'm going by what um, what I'm seeing here. And yes, there there is most certainly um, satanic um, occult symbolism during the Super Bowl as there are every year. Several that I could get into in another video, but that's not the point of this video. This point, the point of this video is mostly to just um, let people get off of their high horse and, uh, and, and believing that they know everything. Okay? We don't know everything. And that's the problem. The problem is the truth is being veiled and, and we're eating it right up. Uh, I'm not a religious person. I don't claim to follow any religion. 
I, I read up a little bit about most, a lot of them, a lot of the popular ones, Satanism, Judaism, Christianity, Buddhism, Taoism, got the basics down, okay, but I know that this energy that is being uh, harvested through these shows is very real and it's, um, very evident as well and the more they can get away with it by they i mean like the people who are just promoting these shows and uh the higher ups the elites or whatever um they know it so they know that you know so they will try and just evolve it that's basically what it is mission accomplished by the majority of the people looking at the the show last night, with all all of the, the craziness that was happening, and the colors and symbology, and then still claiming that there was no satanic uh, symbolism. Mission accomplished, right? So now you, we're exactly where we want them. Okay, so I know that I said I was going to end the video at the end of that other song, but this is um, another five minute song, so maybe this will just be a ten minute video. Um, this is also an original song by me. It's called Running Theory, part one. It's on SoundCloud. It's Luna. I gotta promote myself, you know. So mission accomplished. And it's bothersome that we're kind of uh, allowing ourselves to be um, controlled, tricked, manipulated, I haven't deciphered the message. Whatever message that is being sent through it, like I said, I don't take days off, okay? The Super Bowl day is just another day for truth seekers like myself. Just another day. It's probably uh, uh, one of our hardest working days. Like, I was up until like three in the morning. I, I went to sleep at like two in the morning and then I woke back up at 4.44 on the dot. another day, but this video is made to just basically put people on on notice that, um, just letting you know, let, let you be, let you be aware that the symbolism is definitely there, and, um, and people choose to see what they want to see, so the mind is just, it's tricky, because I, I question myself, you know, as a truth seeker. I do question myself, like, what would it mean if all of this was bullshit, right? Like, what would it mean for me if these theories was literally just all in my head, based off of my own personal um, experiences in life, traumas, or whatever, that's, you know, the mind could, could, could fuck with you, okay? So, uh, it would mean, okay... Let's just say, let's just walk with that for a little bit. What would it mean if the, the show last night was not in any part from start to finish, including the commercials and the performances in the beginning and the reporters and even the, the pregame, all of it, from start to finish, had nothing to do with occultism or Satan. Let's just say, what would that mean to you? trust in my government, high, um, high level of untrust with the, with the government and the media, the social media, the, um, the news, the, um, the images, the, the advertisements, and if, if it's not satanic, then that would mean that that distrust must have come from something that
hours. The show ended at like 8 or something. It's 9 now, the next day. It's, it's been a little over 12 hours and I've been called things. I've been called Karen. I've been called a Trumper. I don't even... I don't um, resonate or none of those terms apply to me. SoundCloud, and if you haven't liked, uh, liked or commented or subscribed already, please do. And yeah, tell me what you think in the comments. I like I like talking with people. Please feel free to message me. And uh, happy Valentine's Day. Okay, let's love ourselves. Um, that's basically that's all I got.